This is by far the fanciest water bottle thing I've ever owned. Hey everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense, and we're back with another edition of American Minuteman Gear. And today we're gonna to talk about the Boundless Voyage 100, 1100 milliliter titanium water bottle and associated kit. So uh, let's take a look at the tabletop. So this is the Boundless Voyage titanium water bottle kit. And I got this on Amazon, I think for around 120, uh, around the time that I purchased it. And had it out a couple times and uh, mostly enjoy it. Probably my go-to water bottle at this point. Uh, so let's kind of talk about why. First of all, just quick overview. So it's all titanium, okay? Uh, everything's titanium. The water bottle, which makes it super light, by the way, it feels like a toy. Uh, the, the lid, there is a rubber seal on the lid, okay? But uh, other than that, like the lid itself is, is titanium. The, or the, the cap, right? The lid for the cup, right? And then you get, you get two cups, right? This one I've obviously used a lot in the fire. This one I haven't used a whole lot, okay? But that's, that's what comes with it. It also comes in this case. It's this cheap garbage polyester digital uh, desert camo print case. It is absolute trash tier and they would be better off not including it. Um, I'm paying a bunch of money for this and they give you this really chintzy, it's horrible, it's so horrible. So that's a drawback. Um, as far as this thing goes, uh, it's good. I like it. Um, it boils water really fast. I don't know what like the heat transfer coefficient or the science behind titanium, but I have this, this one, I have a stainless steel one. This one will boil water faster. Um, pretty, pretty substantially faster. Uh, so that, that's cool. Um, big fan of, of the heat transfer ability. Cools off a little bit faster, but I like that it, it'll boil pretty fast. Um, you know, boil water, I will, I've just been taking the lid off, right? And I'll just set that like in the fire, as you can see here, right? Or most recently I had it on some, uh, on a grate above the fire and, you know, was able to boil water. I've, I've cooked pasta in this. You might still see some pasta bits in there. I don't know, maybe, maybe not. Um, so that's cool, uh, you know, made different teas and whatever and just things in it. And I really like it. The, uh, the lid does have uh, some vent holes here. So I've also used that to drain the pasta, right? So put the lid on, right, with a gloved hand, nah, not with your bare hand. Uh, and you can pour the water out right through the vent holes. So I've done that to drain water out. But pretty versatile kit, you know. Again, uh, I mentioned this in a, in a different video, which may or may not have already been out yet, about my stainless steel water bottle uh, from Pathfinder. But I, where I see the role of something like this fitting is a multi-day sustainment. Uh, having the ability to boil water, having the ability to heat up food makes a big, big morale difference. If you're like, oh, Dylan, I just eat MREs, don't eat MREs, they have seed oils, they're bad for you. Uh, but having the ability to cook and make food is, is just a, a big win. Uh, if you're curious, this will fit in the Spectre chest rig um, with the, the cup, right? It's a little tight, but it will fit in there. Uh, so that's, that's a nice positive. Uh, overall, I definitely like this kit. It, um, if you run, already run like some kind of field cooking stove, this is great. Again, you can always just put it right in the fire. But if you do any kind of field cooking stove, I really, really like this kit and would continue to recommend it. I like that it's super light. That's really nice. Um, I like that it has the two uh, cups, right? So I could heat and eat out of this one or you know, drink out of this one and have a small meal in this one or whatever. You know, I just like the versatility there. I am a big fan of it. It's probably my go-to canteen at this point. Um, would, would be this one. I have a stainless steel Pathfinder one. That one's pretty good. That one'll still be in rotation. But I think if I'm only taking one, right? If I'm going out of the house and I'm I'm taking a canteen of water and a Camelback, this is probably the one I'm going to grab because it allows me that versatility to be able to cook with it, heat water with it, etc. And it doesn't kill me in a weight from a weight department. You know, th this is lighter than my my plastic water bottle uh, for sure. Now you're going to pay for it with the dollars, right? but you're not gonna pay for it when it comes to carrying it. And, and again, having that versatility to be able to heat up and cook water uh, directly in the canteen, you, even if that's for a purification thing or whatever, it's really nice. So I like this because when I think Minuteman multi-day missions, I think it kind of cuts that line a little bit between field, field craft, bush crafty stuff and like military deployments, right? Like if you're on a military deployment, uh, you're probably just gonna get issued a bunch of MREs and foods and whatever, and that'll be what it'd be, right? But when you're a Minuteman, you gotta pay for your own stuff. You gotta bring your own gear. 
Um, you got to provide your own food, all that stuff. Having that added extra ability to, again, cook, boil, whatever, can really help you out. Because you might not have had time to get all your meal prep done, right? So maybe you're just grabbing a box of pasta and a block of cheese and, uh, and your water and you're heading out the door. Well, now you can make macaroni and cheese in the field, which I have done, by the way, in this, and it's very good. Uh, we'll have some recipe episodes coming up. So I would recommend this. I really like this kit. It is spendy. So if you're scared off by that, but you still want the ability to boil, then I tell you to go to the Pathfinder one, right? Because it's about twice the price. Uh, but it is really nice. We're gonna check. Oh, one other negative thing. Is this lid, you hear that? Oh God, that's horrible. Uh, the titanium on titanium on the lid there, that's, um, that's really not nice. That hurts my ears. Makes it kind of like nails on a chalkboard. This should fit, whoops. This should fit in here, no problem. Let's take a look. Oh, it's not no problem. It is a problem. It does fit, okay? But if you're looking at both uh, cups, right? Oh man, let's see here. I've never test fit this in here before. Yeah, so that's tight. Um, that is tight. Woo! Let's see here. Honestly, I'm surprised it's that tight. Um, I didn't think it would be it would be that tight. Okay, so you can do it, okay? Um, you can definitely do it. You know, let's stuff this back here. It's just tight, okay? It's not, it's not gonna be a quick, quick deploy, quick detach thing. Uh, you can fit it in there, okay? Standard canteen, GI canteen pouch. This one just has a bad dye job. But it is, it is tight, okay? Canteen will fit in, no problem. It's the cups and the double, the double layering on the cups. Like, let's see if I can get this out now. Oh man. Yeah, that is, that is not recommended. That's not optimal. Holy buckets. Holy bucket of crabs. Okay. So my two year old says, holy bucket of crabs. I think it's hilarious. I have no idea where she learned it. Uh, yeah. So this, this second cup is really what's, what's making it difficult, I think. If it's just the one cup. That's, that's better. Um, yeah, that's much easier, okay. So if you were just gonna run it like that, that's probably what I'd recommend. This is just, because it's so much wider, it just, it's tougher for this pouch. Um, do what you want, right? But you might just have to find somewhere else to store that if you want to bring both, both, uh, both cups. But um, just in that configuration right there, you should be able to use a standard GI pouch without any real problems, okay? Hope that's helpful, hope that gives you some ideas. I will put a Amazon affiliate link in the description below if you're interested in this. Do brave deeds and endure.